Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. April 25th, 2019. It's the night of the 2019 NFL Draft. And the Chargers with an aging Phillip Rivers potentially look to go in a different direction with their draft strategy. We're here in the second round. And the Chargers decide to set the table by taking Marquise Hollywood Brown, receiver out of Oklahoma, and teammate to Kyler Murray in the 2018-19 NFL season for Oklahoma. But now, in the fourth round, with the Chargers on the board, looking at all options, they decide to take a flyer on a potentially undrafted quarterback prospect out of Oklahoma. And that would be Heisman winner Kyler Murray. Decent attributes and upside as high as you can even imagine. The Chargers decide to take Kyler Murray to be that eventual replacement to Phillip Rivers in the event that they decide to go a different direction or in the event that he retires and that superstar development and that decent overall could be just the start he needed. But let's rewind a little bit. Let's go back a few weeks and see what Kyler Murray was up to. So we've taken the time machine back slightly. It is now March 28th, 2019. And Kyler Murray is coming off of a season in which he started in high A ball, went all the way up to double A, triple A, and now starting the 2019 season, Kyler Murray will be the starting center fielder for this Oakland Athletics team. Of course, he was drafted number nine overall by the A's in the 2018 MLB draft. And now, due largely in part to the Athletics not having a fantastic outfield, not having a great group of prospects to become those starters Kyler Murray in just his second year of professional baseball is starting on an MLB roster and he will be the starting center fielder for this Oakland A's team he will be leading off and we'll have to see what we can do here is the rest of the lineup if you do care Jed Lowry DJ LeMayhew Chris Davis Matt Olson Stephen Piscotty Jonathan Lucroy Marcus Simeon and of course Matt Chapman the platinum glove third baseman that is the lineup versus right-handed pitchers, uh, and you'll see a common thread here. Kyler Murray is the, you know, the similar trend in every single one of these. He is starting in center field and leading off in every single lineup. As you can see, his numbers, very good speed. Stealing, not exactly there, and in the outfield, he has decent reaction, nothing crazy. An all right outfield arm, of course, on a 20 to 80 scale for the MLB prospect rating system. Kyler Murray was only graded as a 40. So even though he's a great football arm, it still has to develop with that different arm slot for baseball. So it's not quite there yet. Decent fielder. And of course, the bat has to be developed as well. Only 58 contact, 64 contact uh, via you know right and left, respectively. And then 47 and 49 power versus right and left there with only 47 vision. So we have a long way to go with the development of Kyler Murray, but officially welcome to the Kyler Murray two-sport player career. Hope you guys enjoy this series. Based on your support, we'll see as far as it goes. But um, yeah, I am super excited. And let's go ahead and start the regular season. Playing the Chicago White Sox to lead things off on opening day. So the way we will be doing this series is an MLB game and an NFL game, both in the same episode for however many episodes we end up doing. Thankfully, on MLB, there is a player lock feature. I am not doing a road to the show for this because uh, it would take way too long. I wanted to get straight into it, and this really let me uh, you know, build the timeline that I wanted to. So today, we're starting off against the Chicago White Sox. I haven't played MLB in a while, so I'm not going to be good. We're on Hall of Fame hitting difficulty, uh, and we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be very good. And I'm, I'm also not great at Madden, so disclaimer, you're not watching for gameplay. You're watching for the storyline, hopefully. It also might be a little bit tough, but I'm going to do the very best that I can to follow the timeline correctly and jump back and forth from, from the NFL to the MLB. The reason I had Kyler Murray go to the Chargers is I wanted it to be somewhat close regionally, and I didn't want to do the Raiders, 
So, Chargers made the most sense. Bottom of the first, leading off. All right, that's a good take to start things for Kyler Murray. His first MLB at bat. A lot of players don't start leading off. But we're going to be swinging, rounding that one out to third base. And uh, it was as choppy as me saying swinging was. Here we go, Kyler. Bottom three, runner on first. Let's shoot one into the gap, maybe drive him in. We're going to be swinging at that one. That's exactly what we need. Base hit. Runner on first. Goes from first to third. A close play at third base. But he's in there. As Kyler Murray records his first major league hit. Welcome to the MLB, Kyler Murray. He's got this look on his face like, oh, are you surprised? Which I really don't like. But Matt Olson's going to get the ball. There we go. First game, first hit. I'll take it. Wasn't exactly a power shot. A little blooper that found some space but I'll take it a hit to hit it'll look like a line drive on the scorecard right, we're in the outfield now I don't know how these situations are actually gonna work I don't think they're gonna hit it to me so I don't know I don't think we're gonna have a lot of outfield opportunities I think he's just gonna be hitting besides that's the most exciting point uh, anyway as Jonathan Lucroy hit a grand slam. Are you kidding me? I mean, we're back up to the plate hitting a nice five hundo. All right, two two count. Good take on the inside curveball. How about you give me something to hit? Ah, oh, just fought that one off. That was in my wheelhouse too. I just got underneath it. Wasn't ready for the heater. Only ninety three, but I mean ninety three is pretty fast. I don't know if you guys ever sat in on that before, as I. Get weak contact again. Kyler Murray's quick down the line. Not quick enough. And that is uh, not a great at bat. Well, a decent at bat. Not a great result, I should say. As we're up again. Base is loaded. Only one out. No double plays. Let's get a base hit here. Let's at least drive one in. That's a good change up. There we go, baby. That's gap power. That one's going all the way to the wall. It's going to be a bases clearing triple. We're headed for three. Here's the play at third. No. I can't see the ball at this angle, man. I'll take the bases clearing triple or double. That's a pretty good day. Two for four, a single, double, multiple RBIs. Now here's runners on first and second. We had a nine to one lead here in the bottom of the seventh. Oh, when? How, man, how did I... Thought that thing was going to be way harder. Only 91. Way on top. Wow. Good pitch. They're going to go to two. Kyler Murray's too quick. That's probably an infield hit. Well, it might have been. I don't know. I was close. Might get one more at bat in this thing. But all in all, pretty good game. We're doing a lot better than I thought we would do. Considering, you know, he's not great for contact or power. And it is Hall of Fame difficulty. Pretty good game. Decent outfield there. We should be getting a lot better as this goes on. DJ LeMay, who's the player of the game, he homered. But let's be honest. Kyler Murray had a better game. Didn't score two runs, but two hits. More RBIs. I don't know. I mean, like, you could even give it to Stephen Piscotty. We're two for five. Double. Three RBIs. I would probably give it to Luke Roy, honestly. Yeah, DJ LeMay was pretty good. I don't know. We had a good game, though. But now we're going to step back into the time machine, do a little bit more simulating. We're going all the way to August, as Kyler Murray is going to play through most of the summer. But guess what happens here? It's the start of NFL preseason. Let's go ahead and simulate. So this A's team has been struggling to keep even, but we are 60 and 59. Not exactly in line for the playoffs, but I suppose you never know. Let's go ahead and check on Kyler Murray, see how he's doing. This is my first time checking it out. As he has stayed in the MLB, stayed on the MLB roster. Boog Powell not looking to overtake his spot. And he's gotten a little bit better, up to a 75 overall now that he is 22 years old. How are you hitting? Of course, attributes are all up. 269, 11 home runs, 44 RBIs, 15 stolen bases. Not that bad through August. I mean, this is pretty good for a first-year player. This is, this is really solid, honestly. 
But Kyler Murray, you've got an NFL season to get ready for. Now, you're not starting right away because, of course, the Chargers have Phillip Rivers. But let's stop talking about it. Let's go over to Madden and check on Kyler Murray in the NFL. Kyler Murray is quarterback number two on the depth chart right now. Phillip Rivers obviously is above him. We're in the 2019 season now, and the preseason is going to be the most experienced Kyler is going to get over the course of this season. I expect Phillip Rivers to either retire or be off the team next year. I can guarantee that because he is in the fifth year of a five-year contract. So next year, Kyler Murray will be the starting quarterback. I can guarantee that. But this year, we got to take what we can get, and that will be the preseason. We also have a couple of drills for Kyler to undergo because as a backup quarterback, he's going to have to work with limited snaps in actual game situations. It's going to have to be mostly practice, um, and we'll see. We'll see what Kyler can do. So training's kind of bad because it still has Phillip Rivers as QB1, which means I can't get snaps for Kyler Murray in practice, which is all right. Who cares? Kyler comes out and performs when it's game time anyway. So we're going to simulate the training and hop in to experience the Kyler Murray show. So we're going to jump forward to the next quarter. Starters will play the first quarter. So we're going to take every opportunity we can with Kyler Murray. And it's going to be starting 10 points down to the Indianapolis Colts. Let's go ahead and jump in. The drive goal is to pass for 10 yards. You see, we have Ladarius Green... Hollywood Brown, Austin Eckler out of the backfield. We'll see what we can do. And it's just going to be a check down to Eckler. Why not? We complete the goal already. Wow, pressure's in. That's unfortunate. Trying to get anybody to get open, and we just don't see anything. I want to see if that Hollywood Brown connection's there from time at Oklahoma. And we're going to roll out. Maybe send Ladarius Green upfield. You want to block? Would that be okay? We'll take off for nine yards, but just just take him out, and that's an easy first down. Third down and eight. That's open. Kyler slings it. Complete to Ladarius Green for the first down. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. Play action. They have their nickel. Double A gap pressure potentially coming in, but they're going to sag off. Drop back into coverage. We're going to roll out of the pocket. Look for someone to get open. Throw back across the field. Find Maley, and it's tipped up into the air. Intercepted by Odom. Are you kidding? Catch the ball. That's an easy first down. That's great job redirecting traffic from Kyler Murray. And, of course, it doesn't work out because we, we don't have any good receivers. Picked off by George Odom. All right, Artavis Scott in the game on the right side. We got Hollywood Brown on a long, deep post. Get out of my way! Oh, that's open. Wide open across the middle. There's our Tavis Scott. Good spin move back up across the field. And you know what? It's been an interesting start to the game. Kyler Murray's been decent. Interception, obviously not his fault. What do you want me to do there? Check down goes to Maley. He's going to throw one off. Still going a little bit. The drive goal is three completions. We're just one away. First and 10 from the 15, nearing the goal line. Murray over the middle, pass complete to Ladarius Green, and that's a touchdown. Of course, it's only preseason, but of course, that is also his first career passing touchdown in the league. Not going to count for the regular season or playoffs, but counts in our heart today. Here we go, Ladarius. Good catch. High point of that one. And we're already going to hop back on offense. That's a fantastic punt as we are pinned super deep I'm gonna streak Hollywood Brown hopefully he can get open downfield and we can try out that Kyler Murray arm we'll have to see oh I want to throw it I want to throw it that's separation Hollywood Brown downfield he catches it in stride 20 15 10 5 touchdown that's that Oklahoma Sooner connection 
95 yards. This could be the future of the Los Angeles Charger offense. Get Phillip Rivers out of here. And we back on offense. That's what I like to see. A minute to score. Let's roll out with Kyler Murray. Guy wide open downfield. The ball is just overthrown. That's partly on me. I didn't see it. It was so wide open until later. That could have been a huge gain, exposing the cover too. Missed opportunity. Wish the throw was on the money. But, you know, they can't all be, I guess. Step up in the pocket. We're going to run with Kyler Murray. There's a spin move. And the ball's on the ground. Recovered, thankfully, by Los Angeles. Probably got a slide there, huh? This ain't college anymore. I already know that fade of Ladarius Green's going to be wide open. Something is. We have too many deep concepts for one not to get naked. Oh, my goodness. Pressure. Go up and get... Artavis Scott caught the ball. Unbelievable. We're going to call a timeout. That was a decent throw. Probably a better catch. We're not going to kick a field with 19 seconds remaining. We could easily get a completion over the middle and spike it. We're going to step up. Let's get out of bounds, Kyler. Good speed. That's open. Hollywood Brown. Touchdown. Is that Kyler Murray's fourth touchdown of the game? Either way, we're killing it in preseason. Now in the game for the third quarter. This will be the last one that Kyler plays. I want to have a focus on what we can do on the ground here. But we're going to throw that football. Yeah, a little bit of a little bit of contact there in the secondary. We got a DPI. Thank you, Quincy Wilson. Former top pick out of Florida for the Colts. We're going to step up with Murray. Decent space. Diving forward. That's not the slide button. Wasn't holding L2. All right. Just want to run. Oh, he's so fast. Was that Tyquan Lewis? Jeez, dude. Can we get the edge, please? Trying to get in again. There's space. Just give me a block. Good stuff. Forces me out of bounds. Five rushes, 49 yards, though. Not too bad. Averaging about 10 per carry. Don't blitz off that right edge. I want to throw that. Inside lead. What is going on in the secondary? You're taking away TDs. Another DPI. First and goal. And that is uh, prematurely through the slant. Quincy Wilson somehow ends up with a with an interception this drive despite being burned several times by the speed of Hollywood Brown. What a dumb throw by me. I told you, I'm, I'm just not very good at this game. That really wasn't all Madden jump in front of the pass though. What was that? That was a glitch to the ball. Huge re uh, return. It was Kaiser White, I believe. Returned for 81 yards, it said. So we are set up. Goal to go. I wanted to run. I want a rushing touchdown. Demarcus Christmas. Florida State defensive tackle on the sack. So I know I'm running into sacks here. Trying to get Kyler Murray a rushing touchdown. But I'm going to keep doing it. Some space opens up. Ah, the spin move doesn't work. I want that rushing touchdown so close. Just two yards away. Here's my plan, right? I'm going to have good blocking. The slants are going to take... Two across the middle of the field. We're going to roll out to the non-throwing side and have a lane. Works perfectly. Kyler Murray, touchdown. That, did he just do the Heisman? Not a, not a great pose, but that might have been a Heisman celebration. The game knows, man. It knows. I think that's his Heisman pose. Now, it's terrible. It's a bad one, but I think... I think that's it. I think that's Kyler Murray doing the Heisman pose after scoring a rushing touchdown. How does the game know? It's going to be the last of the opportunities today here for Kyler Murray. 27 seconds. Let's make the most of it. Oh, man. I see some open receivers. We're just going to throw it away, though. Let's not be too risky. We already have two interceptions, despite an otherwise excellent performance. I mean, we have speed. I just want to take the top off the defense. I really do. Oh, my goodness. We're going to throw that on the run. Pressure came in. I thought about throwing it away. I just need the blocks to be held for longer, and we're going to be in business. I'm not asking that much. We're stepping up. 
That's going to be a tough throw. Over the top. Murray overthrows Hollywood Brown for a touchdown. You're kidding me, Kyler. We're going to go for it. Might call for uh, four verts again. We're do the same thing. It's underthrown. I mean, we had X wide open across the middle of the field, but that's basically the last play of the game. Now that a new quarterback's going to come in. So, that was a really fun game. Kyler balled out. So, that is the ball game. Kyler Murray finishes 9 for 17, 247. Three touchdowns, two interceptions is not great. But a uh, pretty good day passing, I have to say. Rushing, pretty solid as well. 7 for 59. He did fumble, but averaged 8.4 per attempt. Rushing touchdown as well. No broken tackles, no yards after contact. But that's that elusiveness, man. 3-0 and in the preseason right now. Kyler Murray, hopefully, has been balling out. We'll go ahead and take a look at his stats here for the preseason. 462 yards passing, 5 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Been sacked 5 times. What about rushing the ball? Still 7 for 59 yards and a touchdown. Still the same fumble. But overall, pretty good stuff from the future franchise quarterback, maybe, of this LA team. But I think that's going to do it for me, guys. Let me know what you think of the series. Let me know if you want me to continue it. I think it could be a lot of fun, but again, you'll have to let me know. Leave a like on the video, I guess, if you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.